Hey Froskies, it's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing something different. I bought three slimes and I'll be reviewing them as well as designing them into characters. Slime has gotten super popular within the last few years, but I never tried it out. Slime is a form of art, so why not? The only slime I've ever played with was from Dollar Tree and it felt like snot. Okay, that's gross, sorry. But there's some really cool looking ones out there. First up is this slime from Slime Obsidian called Space Bunny. It's a cloud textured slime which apparently are super soft. The bunny star charm is so cute and it comes with blue sprinkles, hearts, and star glitters. Aside from Dollar Tree slime, this is my first time playing with a slime ever. So don't criticize me too bad, okay? I tried to make it satisfying. I had a lot of fun with this. It was very common to play with and felt soft and just like a cloud. And I forgot what the smell was supposed to be, but it was light and sweet. Now it's time to design this slime into a cute character. I chose this slime because I love the color palette as well as the aesthetic. I especially love how there's sprinkles in it. It reminded me of a super fluffy cake. Cake is my favorite food. However, I also chose this slime because of the name, Space Bunny. Yep, that's my concept for this character's theme. Right off the bat, I knew I wanted this character to be a cute bunny astronaut just floating in space. I wanted to base her hair off the texture of the slime itself, so it's super fluffy and soft looking. It almost looks like cotton candy, which I thought also made sense since it's pink and also has sprinkles. She's wearing a space helmet with her bunny ears poking out at the top, blue like the charm of course, and then around her ears, I decided to add these saucer rings, like the planet Saturn since she's in space. Ended up adding saucers in various places throughout her outfit as well. Might have gotten a bit carried away. You know how space helmets have those like discs on both sides to open and close it? Well on my helmet, I made those into cute stars. Her outfit of course is a space suit and she's wearing a pink star chest plate which is supposed to represent the star bunny charm too. And below that I added a little white heart belt around her torso. She's got these star knee pads since I think many actual space suits have padding. Her shoes also have little star decorations on the side. Now for her suit, I really wanted to give it this hollow effect. I think that's how you pronounce it. I thought it looked really cool and makes sense since typically hollow has a color combo of pink and blue and I've never actually used the hollow effect in my art like ever. But it's super pretty and I've been wanting to learn how to draw it for a while so I did my best with this reference I found on Google. Of course I added all the little charms and sprinkles to her hair. It looks so cute. Oh, I also put a little plate thing on her tummy. I don't know what to call it, but I filled it with sprinkles and stuff. So it's kind of like her little snack cubby that's built into her suit. So whenever she's hungry, she can just take some candy out of it and eat it. I just thought that was a cute idea. I decorated her bunny ears and suit with little star glimmers and shiny stuff, and she's done. I am so proud of this, and I think she turned out super adorable. I hope you broskies love her as much as I do. This space bunny is also now available as a poster on my shop, but it's in a very limited amount. So definitely go grab it while it's still there because I can't guarantee it'll be available much longer. Feel free to go check it out while it lasts, link in description. Next up we have another slime from Slime Obsidian called DIY Honey Butter Toast. It's a frosting texture slime and also comes with a clear slime as the honey topping. I thought the theme of this slime was so cute and I was super excited to decorate it myself. It came with bear and toast charms as well as glitters. As you can see I kind of failed as soon as I touched the honey slime. It was really sticky and got stuck on my hands but I just used some activator and when I decorated it it looked nothing like the picture. Yep, professional artist here, guys. The slime itself was super smooth and pretty darn stretchy. The smell was this kind of strong, sweet cinnamon smell. At the end, I randomly decided to make this bear slime sculpture and I gave it a face and it ended up looking really creepy. So yeah, I'm never doing this again. I actually love honey toast. I used to eat it a lot. Another reason why I chose this slime was very satisfying to play with. Time to draw this slime girl. So I started by sketching out the concept and decided to go for this more Western style theme, I guess. I almost gave her a cowboy hat, but I scrapped it. Since the slime did inflate a lot after I played with it, I gave her this cute chubby body also because she's a bear. Her hair is this short fluffy bob cut that I made look thick and droopy like honey. She's in this pose sitting down enjoying a piece of honey toast and in her other hand is a jar of honey she carries with her everywhere because it's her soulmate, obviously. For her face, I wanted her to look more relaxed and chill because apparently honey is able to make you tired. There's also a cute toast charm clip in her hair. I gave her more soft spring-like clothes since the most honey is produced during the month of April, which is springtime. Her shirt is this light yellow color with a plaid pattern just because I thought that suit her. And 
she has these puffed out off shoulder sleeves which are supposed to represent jars of honey. I tried making the ruffles look like they have a drip effect to resemble honey but I'm not sure how much it actually looks like that. Her overall shorts are light blue and have pieces of toast on the straps. I know the stars aren't blue in the actual slime, they're all white but I'm going off the picture. Also when you move the stars they have a holographic effect so really they can be multiple colors. She's wearing these white star pattern tights under her shorts followed along with a cute pair of light brown boots with tiny stars on the side. As you can see when I was coloring her, I really wanted her hair to have the look of honey. I love how it turned out and it's so shiny. I definitely put the most effort into the hair. I made her eyes nice and sparkly and added some cute freckles to her face and yeah, she's done. I love her. Last but not least is Cloud Sugar Crunch Slime, also from Slime Obsidian. This slime is a crunchy phloam slime, pretty different from other slimes since instead of completely smooth, it's very crunchy. I fell in love with this one. First off, it smells amazing, like mellow candy, literally one of my favorite scents I've ever smelled in my life. It comes with cute pink and blue cloud pieces, and I think the other stuff is supposed to represent candy. The phloam pieces in this is what makes the texture crunchy to begin with and makes super satisfying sounds. This slime is definitely my favorite. I love the baby blue color too, I for sure enjoyed this one the most. Now for designing this character, I kind of came up with a story based concept as well. So clouds make me think of sleep and sugar makes me think of, you know, just a burst of energy because when you eat a lot of sugar, you get a sugar rush. Well, my idea for this character is that she was supposed to go to bed, but she ended up eating a lot of sugar which caused her to go into a sugar rush and not be able to sleep. As you can see by her facial expression, she's super hyper. So that's my little cool idea for this one. And because the clouds represent sleep, I wanted her outfit to be pajama themed. I wanted to stick with the ongoing theme of each slime girl having their hair represent the slime itself like the texture. And for her that was a little tricky because I mean what exactly is a crunchy hair texture because I had no idea. But in the end I went for a more curly wavy hairstyle since when hair is curly obviously the curls are more crunched up than if they were straight. I don't really ever draw curly hair so it was a bit of a challenge but I think it turned out nice. I definitely want to practice curly hair more often. And at the top of her head are two pigtails shaped as swirly clouds. Probably my favorite part of the design. On her forehead is a sleep mask that isn't over her eyes since she's wide awake. I gave her these really like squiggly looking eyes I guess. I wanted her to have that crazed look from her sugar rush. I did struggle with her mouth because I wanted her to look a little crazy but it ended up looking too crazy which threw me off a bit. It's kind of scary to be honest. After several attempts I just decided she would stay looking insane. She's wearing a fluffy blue pajama nightgown with candies all over it and below that she's wearing blue and white striped socks along with these super fluffy pink cloud slippers which I thought were super cute. Two pom-poms hang from her dress which also represent the flown pieces in the slime. There's also candy pieces throughout her hair and she's kind of just drooling with candy all over her face. Uh, this is what happens when you let a kid eat all their Halloween candy the same night. I love her, she's adorable. Hey broskies, thanks so much for watching. I had a lot of fun drawing these slime girls. Let me know if you want part two and maybe even recommend some ideas in the comments. As I said, be sure to go check out that cute space bunny poster because she won't be there for long. And yeah, okay, bye. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm, I'm slimy. That's <laughs> not how you do it. <laughs> You're so violent. Look, I'm making pizza dough. <laughs> I didn't expect it to bounce. Wait, look. Boing. Boing. Do the wiggle there. I'm making the pasta. You're not making the pasta. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's slime bear. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> Gabe, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro.